possessions of the game. Is that how you envision the offense functioning? Yeah, that's exactly how it's supposed to go. Um, I, I talked to Coach Dykes briefly about it as well. I was like, is this how it's supposed to feel? And he said, yeah, it's this is how it's supposed to be. And it felt great. Um, offense executed really well, especially in the first half, and uh, I was very happy with it. Yeah. Can you raise your hand? We'll bring the microphone to you. Hey, Jared. What do you remember about uh, Lawler's one-handed grab there in the... He's ridiculous. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone catch balls the way he catches balls. And it's not the best catch I've ever seen him make. I mean, he makes those in practice constantly. And I mean, when he caught it, it wasn't even like I was surprised at all. It was like, all right, well, no, that's Kenny. I mean, and he, do, he does it. I mean, he does it consistently. And he's a great, great target to have there on the outside. You say anything to him there after that catch? Yeah, I just told him he's stupid. I don't know how he does that. <laughs> If you see three receivers to one side and Lawler on the other, and maybe the play's going to the other side, if you see Lawler one-on-one, -on -one, can you change the play to go to him? Yes. Is that what happened today? Um, on one of them, I think so. Uh, I think I may have given him a streak. I'm not sure. I don't really recall. But yes, I can change if I need to. Can you talk about coming, you talk about coming back into the game in the second half? Yeah, um, they told us, you know, you're done for now, but, you know, be ready if, if we need you. We're going to, you know, put you back in there. And um, they needed us, and ones went back in and did what we were supposed to do, took care of business, and scored another touchdown, and then, uh, you know, went back to what we were doing before. How did you feel about the way you guys ran the ball today, and did that help the improvement in that area, help the, the passing? Yeah, it definitely helped, um, especially when guys run for big runs like Lasco did, big touchdown run there. It just takes a lot of pressure off um, myself and the rest of the offense when they can do that. And um, it, it allows us to be multidimensional and allows teams to have to prepare for both. And I just, I'm excited to see them continue to get better because they're going to. Their running backs are really getting better every week and it's noticeable on the field in practice. And um, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with the rest of the games. I don't know if you know this, but that that was more rushing yards by more than 50 than your running it was attack. It? it was 240 some oh. odd, more more than 50 yards more than your best 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 running game last year. Uh -huh. <laughs> what uh, what change have you seen in the running backs? Say you see them every yeah. day in practice. Um, it's I mean the running backs are constantly getting better, like I like I said, but I think uh, the line is really the, the big part about it, and the line has gotten so much better from. Over the summer, through the I mean, through the spring, over the summer, and then through fall camp, they've gotten so much, so much better, and um, that just helps the running backs so much. And then at the same time, like I said, the running backs have just been constantly getting better. Coach Ingram's been doing a great job, and um, as well as Coach Yenzer and the rest of the offensive staff.